I guess we have the largest R&D in the industry. We have a ton of really smart people. And so we built the DNA computer protocol, essentially like a, I hate to call it a blockchain because it's really much more like a decentralized distributed computer. Hi there, welcome. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, coming to you live from Paris Blockchain Week. Today we'll be talking with Jan. Good morning, I'm glad to be here. Like, uh, I'm Jan Kamenis, CTO at the Divinity Foundation. And we're like the major contributor to the intercomputer protocol. Uh, you know, operation since almost four years, flawlessly kicking ass. Nice, nice. Can you, can you tell us what, what is the unique selling point of your uh, company? I guess we're the largest R&D in the industry. We like, have a ton of really smart people. And so we built uh, the intercomputer protocol, essentially like a, I hate to call it a blockchain because it's really much more like a decentralized distributed computer. And uh, our mission and vision is really that all of the world's software runs on, on the protocol because uh, you know, like we want to replace the legacy stack, which really isn't uh, secure. You can see spendings of cyber, for cyber crime or fighting cyber crimes going up like crazy. Mm -hmm. And the only answer here is to run your software on, on, on a protocol because that's just way more secure. Bitcoin never got hacked and taking that principle of a protocol to secure IT is really what, what we, like, that's our mission, right? So yeah. to build a protocol to secure all of compute of the world. So, and you've built a protocol and how does it translate in a product for the average Joe? Very good question, right? So I guess uh, well, we already have like tons of cool stuff uh, being built on, on the protocol, like Bitcoin uh, runes trading platform and whatnot, lending pre uh, Bitcoin lending protocols. Mm -hmm. uh, but now also we're switching gears, like using AI, and I guess AI and blockchain is really a match made in heaven. Now with, with AI, actually everybody can become a developer or an entrepreneur or right? if you have a cool idea of an application you just chat to AI tell it hey uh, I want to have this whatever trading platform I want to have this block this family uh, you know application whatever you want you, you tell it to AI uh, you know just type or talk to it and they build, build it for you launching on the inner computer protocol so the inner computer protocol has its own chain this ICP chain I, I understood exactly so everything, everything you're gonna, uh, we're gonna build through that uh, platform, it will be on chain. So what does it mean uh, for you? What does it mean for, uh, to me? Yeah, I guess uh, a lot of people talk about something being on chain, but probably, I mean, in most cases, what they mean is they have some token on, on chain, mm -hmm. and all the restaurants on Amazon mm -hmm. or some other cloud service. Uh, ICP is rather different here, right? Like a smart contract can hold 500 gigabytes of storage, can do like crank away computing, because it's really like built to replace compute, so it has to be very powerful. So on ICP, like smart contracts are really can full blown applications can be on chain. And as I mentioned, we have like chat protocols that are fully on chain. Like all of the data is, all of the compute happens on chain. Yes. Every smart contract has a URL, you know, like, and uh, I think that's really now having this technology, I mean, the, the protocol is really ideal now for AI because, you know, like since, data and, and, com and uh, compute code is like one unit. Now AI can actually, you know, build applications as this unit, put it on, on the chain, and then once as a user you say, well, actually I want to change it, AI is actually able to do the changes because it can change the code. It can also write code for migrating the data from the old application to new application. And the protocol is built in such a way, if you do this upgrade, if it fails, you can just easily roll back stuff that you actually can't do on, on legacy system. You can't roll like a complex uh, system. You can't roll it back and take it snapshot because there's so many ports, right? Yeah. Yeah, and so for, for having a protocol like ICP together with AI, it really works well together. It's like really targeted, built for AI, if you want. So you're actually simplifying the whole process as a online entrepreneur, for instance, because if, if I use myself as, a, as an example, uh, last week I tried to build my own website. I saw a video online on LinkedIn uh, some guy combined Claude AI and ChatGPT, so I went back and forth, and it was really nice to see that it uh, it worked. But it still, it, it was lacking a lot. And then my next question was, how do I deploy it? How do I uh, attach a CMS uh, to the front end? You know. So, but that's exactly the problem we are solving with like uh, the, what we're launching called Caffeine. 
we're going to launch it in a few weeks, it's actually this problem, right? Like, it's very easy with AI to write code, right? You don't even have to understand code and all of that. But then how do you deploy it? How do you maintain it? How do you upgrade it? How do you make changes, right? Because then you have like production data, you, you don't want to fail that. And th that's what, what Caffeine will do. You can do this whole thing, right? From, from writing the code to deploying the code and later on, you know, like, modifying your application, operating your application in production with production data. So, okay, um, how will how will you then communicate this to, to, to the public? You know, you're talking to us right now, but how, how do you make this more tangible for the average Joe? Um, it's just gonna be a, like a simple web page. Yeah. You know, like uh, people can just go there, you know, like, uh, and just enter just the like prompt. A chat feature, like it's a, it's like it feels like chat GTP if you want, right? Just tell it what, what to do, and, and uh, you know, like uh, a few minutes later, it gives you a URL, and that that URL, it's a URL to the internal computer protocol. Like a, a, every smart contract has a URL, yeah. so it will be that URL, and, and uh, click on it, and there you go. You have your application live on the internet. Okay, and. and Let's see. Let's say well today the narrative about AI and quantum computing, you know, it's, it's very hot. Um, how have how, how how have you taken that into consideration uh, in terms of security? I guess it's a whole other angle, right? I guess uh, now so far we talked about usability and all of yeah. that helping the average Joe to become an entrepreneur yeah. without having a big team, just like, like that. Mm -hmm. Talk to it. Now, I guess AI and security is an old, I mean, in some sense, a bit of a rabbit hole. Yeah. Uh, but also, if you think about it, right, I mean, like, AI is very different from like typical code. It, it's not code, right? It's, it's actually, you know, like numbers in some big, humongous matrix that, that is going to compute, uh, or, you know, like matrix multiplication, all of that. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> Now, you can't analyze that, but normal code, you can do security reviews because you can see the logic, you can verify the logic. AI is different, right? AI, I mean, you know, you can verify what data went into it, it will general, generalize this data and then you can talk to it. So it's very important that, that, that for, for security and trustworthiness, that actually you can verify the process, you can look at the data, okay, that's the data that went to, into it, right? If, if my kids use AI and uh, how can I be sure it doesn't show them some porn or, or what, what not, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the only way to do that is actually to see, okay, th there's no such things in the input data. So here in, in that uh, point of view, you have to put all of these things also on a trustworthy platform. And there you go, like ICP or blockchain in general can, can provide that. Typical blockchains can't because you can't do compute on them. On ICP, we actually have AI models running on chain, like small, smaller models for now. But we're also working on expanding that. Okay. And what we, what would be the, like the, the biggest challenge in the coming six months? Well, I mean, we have like a huge roadmap published, so everybody can go to like innercomputer.org/roadmap, and you see like what we have been or what we have cooking. It's a lot of stuff, I guess, uh, I mean, apart from AI, which I'm really excited about, like building with AI, opening up the protocol to like breaking out of Web3 really, right? Uh, to everybody, like the whole world. Uh, but there's also stuff that we're, we're doing, like we, we had integrated the Bitcoin network into ICP as well, so that smart contracts on ICP can also natively hold Bitcoin, can interact with Bitcoin network. We have that with Solana, we have it with uh, EVM chains. It's also like pretty cool, right? There's a lot of stuff happening in, in that area as well. We have like Odin.Fun, which is a project the most exciting, excited about uh, which, uh, you know, there's like a runes trading platform. The platform runs on ICP, like uses ICP, chain key technology to hold Bitcoin, to hold runes, right? Then it's, it's actually very fast, very snappy. We have like Liquidium, it's like a Bitcoin landing platform, also built on ICP. Building on this, like uh, you know, Bitcoin integration that we've done. Well, some of it's like, <laughs> almost two years ago. So sometimes it takes a long time for people to realize what what power there is. Uh, and, and of course, we want to support this uh, this project. And so we are also going to you know work on uh, making the the platform faster. You know, like being able to handle more load and all of that. We're we're constantly like hustling, grinding away to, to, to make the protocol better. I mean, I think it's pretty good already, right? But it's a lot of stuff you can do, but uh, you know, like... Uh, it, to sum it up, we could like build websites, apps, everything you, you see nowadays that people are building online, right? If you had like 30 seconds or 60, 60 seconds, let me say 60 seconds, how would, uh, how would you describe your, the, the unique selling point? 
Well, it's like uh, it's really about sovereignty, owning your applications, right? Like if I want to have an application, uh, I want to own it. You can only do that on ICP because mm -hmm. you can own the whole stack, end to end, front end, back end, data, code, everything. Yeah. You think about like DeFi and so on. Like right now, DeFi is about tokens, but actually, it should be like any kind of digital asset. You can have like a whole company, you know, maybe build with coffee in, just enter a prompt, build your application, build your product. Maybe you want to sell part of it, or you want to sell it as a whole. Right now, it's a digital asset on chain, yeah. and now you can sell it. So it's like the vision here is very, very, very broad. You want to have like sovereign uh, software, sovereign digital goods yeah, yeah. on chain, and uh, that's really what, what we're working towards. Okay, so guys, you heard it. So one last question, though: um, What will it cost me? I mean, like, uh, ICP is like way cheaper than than uh, like any other uh, blockchain because storing uh, one gigabyte per year costs you five dollars. So it's wow. like, yeah, so really will it be like subscription based as well? Caffeine? Well, we, we haven't uh, really published uh, the business model yet, but like you know, like, this is like a mass market product. So, so obviously, it will be like very. Uh, very cheap to, to use it and I mean it, there's also not much resources it does because like ICP as a protocol you know it embraces replication to make it secure but if you look at the traditional stack there's a ton of replication as well so I mean uh, although it, it runs I guess people would say on a, on a blockchain right uh, and the my the you know the picture people have in mind oh it's slow expensive not at all right because we have proven that uh, with the inner computer protocol actually can be fast it can be cheap nice and and so i mean it, it's got to be similar to like other uh, things out there right it's really like we want to get uh, you know the the crypto cloud in, in some sense we want to get amazon yeah, google yeah. and all of them replace them so it's going to be like that so it'll be actually a frictionless experience for the average exactly. nice nice so on, the, on that note i want to thank you jan for for your time Guys, you heard it. What is ICP.org? Internetcomputer.org. So uh, thank you for watching. If you liked, uh, like the video, share it. And if you want more information, uh, look on bitcoinmagazine.nl. And uh, till next time. Bye-bye.